How to Calculate Moles and Masses of Elements by kscience.com Relative Atomic Mass, or AR for short, can be defined as The relative atomic mass of an element is the average relative mass of all the isotopes in an element. So, for example, carbon has three isotopes, carbon-12, carbon-13 and carbon-14. The average relative mass of all three isotopes is 12. Therefore, the AR of carbon equals 12. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. One mole is a number and it equals 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. This huge number is called Avogadro's constant. One mole is a very, very large number and when it's not written in its standard form, like above, the whole number looks like this. This is a very large number, so it's better to use the standard form and just say 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. So we can see carbon has a relative atomic mass of 12 and we know that AR has no units. And we also know one mole of carbon atoms is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 carbon atoms. Now the incredibly fascinating part is that when you have one mole of carbon atoms, this equals 12 grams of carbon. So when you have 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 carbon atoms, which is one mole of carbon atoms, the relative atomic mass of carbon, which is 12, can be expressed in grams. So the mass of one mole of carbon atoms is 12 grams because the relative atomic mass is 12. This diagram represents the electronic configuration of a carbon atom and the nucleus contains the protons and neutrons. And it's these protons and neutrons which causes the mass of one carbon atom. And this is why the mole is so important, because one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. And so one mole of a substance is the relative atomic mass or relative formula mass expressed in grams. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The equation to calculate the number of moles of an element is the number of moles, which has the unit mole, equals the mass in grams divided by the relative atomic mass, written as AR for short. This is the kind of exam question that you could potentially do using the equation you've just learnt. And the question is asking you to calculate the number of moles of sodium, Na, in 50 grams of sodium. In the exam, you will always be given the relative atomic masses, or you can just find that data in the periodic table. So we can see in the question, we're being asked to calculate the number of moles of sodium in 50 grams of sodium, and we're given an AR of 23. The next step is to write down the equation, and this is moles equals mass divided by AR. I always want you to write down the equation to any calculation question in the exam. The information in the question tells us the mass equals 50 grams and the AR is 23. We then input this data into the equation where moles equals 50 grams divided by 23. This equals 2.17 mole. Pause the video now to attempt this exam style question. The answers will follow. Pause the video now to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. 
The equation to calculate the mass of an element is mass in grams equals number of moles mole times AR. Here's another exam style question where you have to calculate the mass of two moles of iron, Fe. So we can see the question is asking us to calculate the mass of two moles of iron and the relative atomic mass is 56. So the first thing we always do is to write the equation, which is mass equals moles times AR. The information in the question tells us the moles equals two mole and the AR is 56. We then input this data into the equation where mass equals two mole times 56, which equals 112 grams. Pause the video now to attempt this exam style question. The answers will follow. Pause the video now to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.